Thank you for joining this Newsmax Prime special. Today we're joined by David Horowitz. He's one of America's most influential conservative thinkers and a close friend of President Trump's most senior aides. David Horowitz's new book, Big Agenda, President Trump's Plan to Save America, became an instant number one Amazon bestseller, and it is now a runaway New York Times bestseller. Mike Reagan says Big Agenda has become the Bible of the new Trump administration. Everyone is talking about it. And Big Agenda has been praised by leading conservatives like Rush Limbaugh, Lou Dobbs, Mike Reagan, and Ann Coulter. And welcome back. I'm speaking with David Horowitz, best-selling author. David, I want to pick up our discussion of Big Agenda and your prediction of Obama interfering. I was astounded by how much President Trump seems to be making references to your book in some kind of way. Uh, you were the first person to talk about the former president running a government in exile against the Trump administration. And now President Trump openly talks about this. Newsmax's White House correspondent John Gizzi asked Sean Spicer about your claims in Big Agenda. Let's watch the clip. The author David Horowitz in his book, The Big Agenda, uh, writes of what he calls, quote, a deep state, end of quote, in which he said these are Obama holdovers in government who are trying to undercut the president's agenda. This has been going on since the country was, country came to be. Uh, where people burrow in after an administration into a, a civil servant job. Um, but sure, that there's people after eight years of Obama that found their way into government, so it's, it should be no huge secret. Okay, so now we know what Sean Spicer thinks about it. How serious of a problem is this deep Obama deep state in your mind, David? Well, it's very serious when you consider that the Democratic Party, look, the Democratic Party is now the party of Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders would have been the nominee, except that the crooked Clintons fixed the primaries with the help of Donna Brazile and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. The aim of radicals, uh, Bernie Sanders, a lifelong supporter of communist causes, as was Barack Obama, but it was, which was covered up by a, uh, a, f a friendly media, shall we say. If you're a radical, your goal is to overthrow the system. In Obama's words, to fundamentally transform America. Why would he give up that goal just because uh, he, he's no longer president? So he set up a, a headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's put Valerie Jarrett, uh, another uh, person who comes from the same kind of background I did, only she was brought up by Iranian communists, never left the left, these people. Um, and their agenda is to overthrow our system, our way of life. Uh, and, and they've been pretty good at, at doing it until Donald Trump came along. Um, well, so it's no surprise that you have all these people in the intelligence community, all these Obama leftovers who, who are sabotaging the, or attempting to sabotage the Trump presidency. Well, in your book, David, do you offer any solution for President Trump to fight this deep state? Seems mighty deeply ingrained. Well. You have to have the war mentality, which Trump does. Trump is fearless, and that's one of the reasons that he won the nomination and that he's been able to do as much as he has. Steve Bannon and Steve Miller, the same way, very courageous people who understand that it's a battle, that we no longer have a Democratic Party that you can really fundamentally cooperate with because their desire is to overthrow the Trump administration. I mean, Dianne Feinstein has already said their goal is to impeach Trump, to find anything they can. This is before he's only whatever it is, uh, 60 days, two months in office. Uh, it's a very bad situation. I think it's going to change as time goes on and, tr and Trump gets to actually do what he's going to do. And one of the big things he's going to do is a new deal for black America. In Big Agenda, I, I have a chapter called The Achilles Heel of the Democratic Party, and that's their stranglehold on the inner cities of America. The Democratic Party is a racist party. Every killing field in America, Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, St. Louis, Ferguson, is 100 percent controlled by the Democratic Party and has been for 50 to 100 years. Everything that's wrong with the inner cities of America, every oppression, every injustice that policy can affect, Democrats are 100 percent responsible for. But until Trump, Republicans have been too polite to mention that. 
when you watch as Trump proceeds, he's going to do a new deal for black America, and it's going to blow up the political base of the Democratic Party. Will that be how he abolishes the Democratic Party, as you mentioned in the book? Yes. Yes, exactly. I, look, Trump has been attacked absurdly, ludicrously, as a proto-Hitler, as a white nationalist, a racist. Uh, th th Trump, Trump is the opposite of all that. Trump is more liberal in the good sense, inclusive, tolerant, um, than any comparable Republican. Uh, and I think this is going, as time goes on, people are going to see that. Uh, he, he doesn't have a uh, mean-spirited bone racially in his body. Uh, you can see that from his appointments. You can see that from what he said during the yeah. campaign. Look, it was easy to write this book, Big Agenda, uh, and know what he was going to do. Because during the campaign, he made all these promises. Uh, and if you looked at Trump, you'll see that throughout his life, whatever, he, whatever he's achieved, he's put his name on it. The, ho the hotels, the resorts, the airplanes, all have the Trump name. So I knew from the beginning of the campaign that this is a guy, when he says, I'm going to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it, he's going to do it because he cares about his reputation. Well, I'm going to hold on that thought. We're going to come back and talk about his reputation, but we'll get back to it right after this. You've been listening to New York Times bestselling author David Horowitz. David is out with his new bestseller, Big Agenda, President Trump's plan to save America. It is a runaway New York Times bestseller and the number one selling book of the Trump presidency. Big Agenda reveals Trump's secret plan to not only roll back Barack Obama's progressive programs, but Horowitz says the president really wants to put the Democratic Party out of business. Big Agenda was also the first to warn that former President Obama would wage a deep state war against President Trump. It's all in Big Agenda. Conservatives like Rush Limbaugh, Ann Coulter, and Dinesh D'Souza are urging Americans to get their own copy of Big Agenda. I urge you to get it as well. Big Agenda is at Amazon and bookstores everywhere, but Newsmax has an incredible free offer. It's a value of over $30 with shipping included. Just call today, check, and go online today.